Okay, now we look at the G system through the boogie. I'm going to play a couple of little tunes here for you, show you how it switches channels, and there we'll have it. Um, basically, I'm filming just with a regular digital, digital camera, uh, video camera. I'm not using any special microphones. So what you hear is the camera mic. Yeah, it's a little bit shittier doing it that way, but my camera doesn't have a mic input. Otherwise, I would have ran through the board. Maybe in the future, I might do something like that. So as I mentioned earlier, I do have it set up two different ways. I got the first first few banks, is it's set up as a regular stereo straight into two clean amp purpose. It start, starts at zero, zero. And then for my stereo setup using the four cable method with the Roadster, um, I start my banks at number 10. That way, regardless of where I am, I've got two different set, setups that I can use. So we'll just start with a regular clean channel. I'll work up from there and you can just see how versatile this thing is. So this is just clean. The Nova Drive is on, but it's on setting one, which is mainly just a clean overdrive. Um, those were those presets I got from Scott and uh, best thing I ever did. Tweak, tweaked a couple of them up, but yeah, so here it is. And then I, all of them have a little bit of delay, some pitch shifting, which is the doubler or detune, depending on the patch. A little bit of classic chorus, some compression and, and reverb. Oh. So, so this is with my Mesa Boogie Channel One on the clean setting, and then uh, and then an overdrive on a clean over overdrive one. Also playing through a Hamer Explorer with EMG pickups, a little bit of a heavier guitar for the classic rock. I, I like EMGs. So let's go to the second preset that I use, and these are mainly my main patches that I like to use for just about any gig. Now, this is just a mild crunch. The only difference now from clean, it just it goes to the Nova Drive channel six, which is a little bit more of a dirtier distortion, but still clean. So if you listen to the difference, good for like a Rick Springfield, Jesse's Girl, that type of song. So. so if you play really clean, you get that really nice, clean, picky, clicky sound. Now the next channel that I like to use, going up from there, channel 3, uh, this now engages the Black Star, still staying on my Mesa Boogie clean channel, now I'm just running the overdrive of the Black Star, which is kind of a nice little punch. <laughs> One thing that's nice, if I like the settings, I could always shut the Black Star off, go to the Nova Drive. Very versatile. I even got it set up, shut the Nova Drive off, change the relay, and even in the same settings, all of them have two, two different types of amp switching that I can do. So just by doing that, I've now switched to my Massive Boogie Channel 2, which is a kind of an AC-DC crunch type thing. <laughs> It's all pretty versatile. And then my next one that I like to do, channel four, or preset four. Now this 
is my Boogie Crunch 3, um, or Channel 3 on the Boogie. I've got it set up a little bit dirtier. <laughs> Within that preset, I don't have to do anything fancy. If I want to just go a little bit lighter, hit the relay, switches me to channel two right off the bat. <laughs> one that I mainly use. Now that one switches me to channel 4 which is the most heavier sound of the boogie. <laughs> mainly giving you a feel of more the chords and the crunch type thing that you can get from this stuff no no I'm not trying to show off any particular type of style but, but even on that one you get a nice clean clean distortion I don't have all my gains cranked full up I don't I don't like that but it sure is nice to have a heavier sound when you need it if you know you get a crowd that wants a little bit of a heavier song and you can pull that out like some scorpions or something like that. and again this one here I can toggle between my channel 4 and 2 so if I want to lighten up and do more of the rhythm you know very neat and uh, another couple things I've got some specialized channels for certain songs um, we play Hungry Like the Wolf, so I've got a patch for that that I got from Scott. And again, between two different channels, if I want it on the heavier one that I just played, channel three, or I can do it on channel two. Kind of nice to do that. Next one I got is that Flock of Seagulls song, I ran, we do the, that one, so that's a specialized patch. So all that fancy delay and stuff like that. Another one that we play, kind of did something different on this one. I got a little bit of uh, uh, phaser in there and some harmony for the beginning of the Bon Jovi bad name beginning. So. So yeah, you can get a lot of a lot of sounds out of this thing. Um, then another song we like to play, Sanctuary by the Cult. Very, you know, very unique beginning. So. So very neat. You get that sound, and then I got some rhythms. So there you have it. Very versatile piece of equipment. It took me really about five, six months to really get it, get it 
where I could play it, but um, now, about a year later, I've got all the patches set up and dual setups. Yeah, I can hear my little one crying in the background, but I, I really do like this thing. Um, you need to spend time with it, you need to do some research on it, and there is some good information available um, out there to help you set this thing up so you could actually make it uh, gig worthy. So there you go. Have a good one.